This is Kathy Chase. I'm tired of being in pain on my shoulder. I'm not living in the era of Hitler with Farfig Nugans. And um, G.I. Joe. <laughs> you know, their little Mr. Coffee. Kathy Joe. The little caning, my shoulders all day long, off and on, whenever they feel like it, whenever they feel like, you know, what I don't understand, G, you know, G.I. Joe, the real American hero, Rob had a bunch of G.I. Joes, G.I. Joe has nothing to do with me, by the way, G.I. Joe, G.I. is initial for Grand Island, <laughs> Nebraska, too, G.I. is Grand Island, Nebraska, but it has nothing to do with G.I., what is it, G.I. Joe and G.I., Joe, it's like a abbreviation for something, because they're well into abbreviations, and um, I'm not I'm not a coffee. I'm not coffee. I do know that I'm not coffee. You can mispronounce my name, Kathy, but I'm not coffee. So um, <laughs> it's really strange behavior. Um, that's her terrible. That's horrible. That they took G.I. Joe, the real American hero, and freaking cut that all up, you know? Because they wanted to be Nazis or something with their little swastikas. Swastikas. What does a swastika look like? I don't know. A swastika looks like a swastika, kind of like a fan blade or something. I freaking don't know. These people are crazy. Um... And it just popped into my mind tonight because I had um, sold, Rob thought it was an American for me because he had a bunch of G.I. Joes, right? I sold a bunch of them, like a huge bunch of them. They were old antique G.I. Joe stuff on eBay to someone in France. I thought, well, wow, that's pretty cool. That shows a sign of respect. He said, no, that's anti-American to sell your G.I. Joes out of the country. And I said, well, why? The guy was willing to pay, pay top price. He must have a collection. He must have respect for America because that's, you know, France is supposed to be a friend to the United States, right? G.I. Joe. I sold a bunch of G.I. Joes to France. I said, well, you know, I, you know, it wasn't, um, you know, I, it was a surprise to me myself because, you know, I can't be biased with who I sell to, you know, and, um, you know, G.I. Joe is a toy that symbolizes Ameri American, Americanism, and, um, so, you know, I'm not G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe, I haven't looked that one up. But I'm going to. I guarantee you that one. I know it's been around a long time. Um, but I'm not G.I. Kathy Joe. Um, G.I. Joe has an E at the end of it. My name doesn't have, isn't Kathy Joe, G.I. Joe. <laughs> and I think, I think, I don't really care for your the fact that I have respect for the military. I always have. Even before I knew about this stuff in the, my body. They work hard. They work very hard. They don't, they get underpaid. And, um, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm not enrolled into the military. I've never been drafted into the military because I live on High Street. Um, I've never been drafted into the military. I'm 38 years old. Um, I have three children. And, um, using G.I. Joe? <laughs> I don't know. I think the military's got to be pissed by now. Excuse my language, but I think they got to be mad. Um...
I'm a good person. I'm a, I'm a good mom. I do the best I can do under the circumstances. I'd love to have a stable, normal life, just like everybody else. And I don't know why, you know, the, the, the thing about people going the other direction with things, you know. They could have, um, instead of, since there was already, already corruption, they could have just, you know, been nice to me all along and took this the other way where they could have, um, still made lots of money, even more money than they're making now off of my pain and suffering of me and my children. They could have taken it the other way, which I don't understand. They could have taken things the other way and, um worked with me to use the fame or whatever to since there there's a lot of entertainment industry you know directly and indirect indirectly involved they could have taken this the other way and and done better things and I still that kind of puzzles me as to why they cho they they keep choosing to go in a um, negative sort of direction. I don't kill people. I don't instigate people to go out and kill people. I think that's wrong. I think that um, I think that people need to look out for each other and if they don't look out for each other then they have no business knowing them at all. If you, as, as far as people that have been in my life um, in high school, including Rob, they really had no business knowing me if they didn't have good intentions into me because um, I've always been a good person. I'm no, Nobody's perfect, but I've always been a good person. I've always been the type of person who's been very, very nice and they've always, people have, people have labeled me off and on as the type of person that you can walk on. But I don't necessarily see that things that 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 way because um, I'm don't don't see myself as a person to walk on. It's just that I try to send the message that you're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to look for people's weaknesses and try to hurt them. You know, you're not supposed to take advantage of people and their weaknesses to get what you want out of life. You're not supposed to take advantage of people's weaknesses or, you know, things that they don't know about to hurt other people or whatever. You, you just, people should look out for people, you know? People people should look out for people and other people and um, not always think of themselves first. People get too wrapped up in themselves and and they don't really don't really understand because they don't want to understand I don't know why how, how people cannot say look at things and say this is a human being and as far as my life goes people just came along and um, took a bad situation and made it a billion times worse and I don't understand that I don't I don't understand that at all why would people make a bad a bad situation worse intentionally because they wanted to get me killed because they didn't they were worried about competition or or they were worried I'd I have too much <laughs> power. I don't have, I don't think I have power. If I had power um, over people, I would have had help by now. I don't, uh, if I had power, uh, you know, I'm, I'm in a very vulnerable state where all people do is look for ways to hurt me. Why do people look for ways to hurt me versus help me? when I, you know, it just freaking hit me all, all of a sudden where, you know, I've been trying to figure out what was going on the, in recent years. Why are people suddenly attacking me? People that were showed, pretended to be my friends? 
for 20 years and then having a husband in which I knew for 20 years actually you know we were married April 21st 1994 and we met in April of 1990 so yeah um, you know a long time so what I don't understand is how can people just become so cold and so mean because they think that that's a good thing to show to other people um, because they exploited me to bring me the fame because they wanted something or whatever. And you don't hurt other people to get what you want out of life. You don't exploit other people to get what you want out of life. You look for... Um, you look for... Ways, solutions. You look for solutions. You, you look for solutions versus to hurt people don't you don't intentionally look for ways to hurt people versus to help them you, I can't stress that enough you you have to look for ways to help people versus to hurt them from the very beginning or even preventatively preventative prevention is is very important and if you don't want to prevent a problem, then you stay away and you don't aggravate a problem. You don't aggravate, you know, issues. And that's what people want to do. And um, that's not productive because you don't, you don't need to aggravate problems. You just need to problem solve. People need to get along. People should look out for one another whether you like them or not you don't have to like somebody to look out for other people you know you don't have to have you don't have to love people but you should have love for people for other human beings and respect and have the integrity to you know everybody's always just become in the modern society um, at least locally more so in my experience is that people um, say well you get take too much into this love yourself first okay you love yourself first that's true because it's important to love yourself but if you truly love yourself and respect yourself then you will look out for other people and you will care about other people and you will you will do good unto others because you feel good about yourself. If you don't feel good about yourself, then you that reflects onto who you are. Um, and that's a fact. That's a psychological fact. If you don't feel good about yourself, you're not going to carry that on to other people. And that's obvious what's happened to me in my life. People who are insecure or they've had other abuses or whatever. Um, you know... All I'm saying is that there is no logical reason for my situation as far as, you know, as inhumane to be as mean as these people have been to me because of things that aren't my fault. That's a fact. That's a, that's a fact. There's no other way to get around saying it's a fact. And instead of hurting me, looking for ways to hurt me and creating debates that never really had, had it had any basis in reality to try to manipulate my life and look for ways to hurt me or whatever you know you don't you don't look for ways to hurt people you know you don't it doesn't matter you know you don't look for ways to hurt people and that's what they've done you know 30 years of my life went by where I didn't know what was going on or whatever whatever whenever this started not quite 30 years but a long time and they knew that I didn't know a lot of things until the past year I've had to figure everything out on my own and I can't help it they don't want to have compassion for other people and 
have respect for other people's lives to be able to live their lives the way they want to live their lives and not have other people want to control and be communistic towards another human human being's life you know you have to have compassion and respect and value other people's lives because they were put here not by you and not for you to manipulate or condescend because you want something from them or you want you know you 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 need to think you you can't you shouldn't use other people's lives to get to where you want in life you know um me and my children both my children and I are innocent bystanders in a situation in which we did not create we do not want we want we want to be free the way we were born here in the United States of America we were born free I am free there's nothing you can do about that and I don't know why you'd want to anyway why would you want to corrupt um, someone who's someone who's born free, who doesn't hurt other people, who just wants to look for um, ways to work together? Because that's the way you're supposed to do things. You're supposed to look for ways. Everybody knows there's corruption in society, but corruption doesn't mean um, to publicly exploit um, looking for ways to um, bring in communistic ways of showing the public that we're gonna demean and and um, demoralize human beings on a broad perspe perspective of um, being non non you know, they're trying to treat me like I'm non-existent. And everybody knows I'm here. I'm a person. I'm a human being. And I didn't ask for this to happen to me. You know? And I can't help it that they have no compassion for other people's lives. And they don't value other people's lives. Because they're too stuck on themselves. I care about other people's lives, whereas they, they don't. And um, money is one thing, and corruption is one thing. But when you sub you're subjecting me to the way in the way you are to to create more problems because you're so into creating this cycle of turmoil, but you can't include me in your cycle of turmoil because. The fact is that people have made lots of money off of me. I have proven by cross-examination that there's nothing that links to me as far as blaming me for problems in society because my personality is a peaceful one, meaning I don't hurt other people. I don't look for ways to hurt other people. Um, there's no such thing as squaring people's lives away in law. There's no such thing as hurting other people to get to where you want. There's no such thing as backwards relationships as far as, the, you know, globally people have never heard of that because, um, backwards, you know, <laughs> a song that was rumored in high school Stairway to Heaven by Led Zeppelin. Um, <laughs> I was born in 1973. And that song was rumored. If you play backwards, um, it says something about the devil. But I don't have, I didn't have any backwards intentions. I, it was them, you know. I just was living my life being a mom and, and raising my, my babies and, I love, I love my kids and I'm extremely worried about them because I'm the only one that's fighting for them and myself as I, as I feel, but I'm not, you know, there's people out there, they might be outside of my family, 
because that my family don't understand because I have some people in my family that are uneducated and don't understand certain things and um, there's you know I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a good person and I just don't understand with the okay we have we have a dysfunctional situation so what's the point of making it worse instead of better is what I don't understand because they could have taken they've had plenty of time and plenty of opportunities because I've tried to initiate to them as well you know there's been lots of music about me and movies and indirectly and directly why didn't you take this the other way and and um, use that to to if you wanted to make money you could have went you could have went the other way but they've refused they've been stupid and they just look for ways to more to hurt me and I don't understand that because they know I am not responsible for the situation there's no way listen to me very closely Barack Obama and George W. Bush and so forth there is no way you can manipulate or look for ways to say that I'm at fault for my situation because I'm not had I known about certain things I probably wouldn't have married Rob I wouldn't have well I know I wouldn't have married Rob and I know I would have um, probably um, left town you know when I became of age I probably would have left Lincoln, Nebraska. I probably would have found a doctor, you know, as far as my foot's concerned, a long time ago before they could have, I had three children to, so they could come along and hurt them too. I mean, really, come on. Be logical and be reasonable. I am not the one who goes and hurts other people because I have mental illness. I don't have mental illness. The only thing that's wrong with me is, is I get scared and I consider myself to have post-traumatic stress disorder, but I do not have mental illness. I'm very psychologically stable and fit. Um, I, I understand people. I understand psychology very, very, very well. Um, and I know that people are you misusing it and Re using reverse psychology to say this or that or whatever to try to you know divert and reverse psychology is not going to work with me because um, p sending pains to my body isn't going to make me feel guilty because I've done nothing wrong and that's what people have tried to do is they've tried to send me pain to my body just to make me feel to try to make me feel guilty for things that I have no guilt for and things that I can't have guilt for it's not even possible for me to have guilt I have no guilt I'm not responsible for my situation nobody's ever heard of this before ever in the history of of the world and I'm not the world I'm not <laughs> I'm not the world I'm just a human being. I'm not Jesus. I'm not yellow. I'm not the world. I'm just a person who has RFID and which sends signals out to all the people that have had RFID for the vast majority of the past century. RFID has been used since pretty much since radio was introduced and that's been almost about a hundred years. Okay? And that's what people need to understand and accept that RFID is simple technology and unfortunately people got a hold of some put it in my body and kind of made a, a big mess out of my life well not kinda you've ruined all my life you've ruined my life and I've tried working with you you're the ones who have ruined my life and you've destroyed my life and you think you can make me and my children, my, my offspring, 
my offspring, my babies pay for that too? Because you initially ruined my life and you were bitter because you ruined my life. How can you be resentful? How can you be resentful for ruining my life? And how can you manipulate that when there's too many people who know the truth? You know, I'm looking at the addresses next to 4701 High Street, the two brown houses to the west. One of them, I'm sure, I'm pretty sure it's a 4555, 4556 on the brown house. It's at the T intersection of 4701 High. I don't know, I could have sworn, well, I won't say sworn, but I could have, I thought that I saw the number four five six four five six or something like that on the main one of the mason's websites anyways not really relevant but i've had passwords and such with the four five six or the five four five six seven and i don't really know what that means perhaps other people might know but anyways it's pretty ir irrelevant i'm just saying that what happened to my life was obviously planned and um, I have nothing to do with it, and I'm and I've I've offered peaceful solutions. I've tried to prevent things all along, even before I even knew things, because ever since 2005, when I left Name That Tune, the first thing I did was go to the police. Before I even got the fame that I have now, because I know I didn't have fame in 2005, not to, not to the degree I have now. I only had. A very small amount of fame in which some people knew about me and I say when I say some I mean like probably only probably less than 5,000 people or somewhere around there knew who I was and knew about me it was very kind of a secret kind of thing you know and now how many people know about me now because other people wanted to create a stir um why i don't know i'm not a spin the bottle i'm a person i'm a human being don't call me anything else i'm not a microwave <laughs> this is a funny thing microwave <laughs> and i'm not a microwave i don't know where they get this one um i'm not a um you know i'm not uh, you know I, i'm not even going to explain anymore because it's pathetic to have to try to go into all this other stuff because I'm not a number and I'm not an animal um, I'm, I'm a human being and why is it that you can't acknowledge that you think you have to belittle me to make yourselves feel better or bigger or whatever what I'm saying to you directly and I've been saying to you directly why not be reasonable you knew I didn't know you know it's not my fault there's no way you can say it's my fault there's no way you can say things are my fault I'm only one person and my children why should they have to pay for things that were never my fault to begin with why why are you trying to make them pay for what's happened to me that sounds like a, a male ego bias sort of weird thing there I don't know there's something really odd about that and wh why why would you do this to a mother and her children why why nobody in the United States understands this and, and there's lots of nations worldwide that don't understand what you're doing to me and my children there's nothing there's nothing right about what you're doing and don't go try to sideways depict who I look like or who I am based upon, you know, rumor, okay? Nobody, there's no meanie around. People can't see me face to face with cameras because you want to keep it that way. You want to keep things that way because you want to allow for rumor and slander and corruption. And I said, well, why, why, why would you do that? Why? You know things aren't my fault. They never were my fault. I just want to live a normal life just like everybody else. Why can't you understand that? Why? You know, RFID is very removable, whether it's a doctor who removes shrapnel. They don't make RFID for human beings. It's not, uh, you know, not detectable 
and able to be removed. Okay. So, and I didn't put it there. And I don't want it there. I never wanted it there. All I was trying to do was live a normal life until people bothered me. And I don't, I never, I never premeditated nothing. I don't murder people. I don't hurt people. I didn't know anything until I've had to slowly figure it out what's going on around me. It's not my fault. Um, and I don't, I don't look for ways to hurt people. You gotta look for ways to problem solve and help people. You have to freaking get out of your denials. And I don't know how you cannot understand the fact that I didn't know. And you know, you know, think about this. You just don't think about things. You just don't want to think about things. You'd rather play stupid. Why? I don't know. It's not my fault. You, th you want to say, oh, she's intimidating. You think I'm trying to seek power or whatever. No. I'm saying who I am. I'm a good person. Um, all of a sudden, people started beating me up in my life, and I didn't know why, and they had no justified reason, and that's why you have to get, you get so defensive, is because you know it wasn't justified to start beating up on me, and you're still doing it, and you've made it worse. You made things worse. Why? Why would you make things worse instead of better? Because I say, said, you could have taken this so many different directions. If you would have been intelligent enough, you should have taken the 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 w strangeness of the situation and you could have went a different way with it but you've chosen to be um male it's just maybe it's a male ego thing in which you want to try to hold me down and as far as trying to suppress women you know and um it's a maybe it's a a male ego thing, a sexist thing more more and more that I think about it because I'm a mom of children, and what do mothers do? They protect their babies, and what in psychology do you call that a mother protecting her nest, and that's psychological psych psychology terms they talk about mother and nesting, it's actual true psychology terms and um, I'm just a mama I love my babies um, my teenage daughter doesn't understand because she's persuaded to be with the cool in crowd which is opposite of all the morals and values in which she should be taught to have respect for other people in their lives and to have um, compassion for other people's lives and their 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 she should she should respect her mother her mother gave her life and they're teaching her everything opposite of the value system and ethical you know things and human rights and everything else and I, I just it makes me sick because you know, they're persuading her with rock stars and famous people, and, um, you know, that's not how I wanted my kids raised, and then I have to worry about Sean and, and Autumn, they're young and naive, and Sean's, most of his life's been traumatic because he's nine years old and this has been going on for so long that he's been through a lot because of these people what they, they initiated and what for what for what's the point would you want me to come into your lives I don't care who you are whether you're a president or whatever and just come kick the crap out of your family because you were victimized would you would you would you want someone to just walk up to you and start kicking the crap out of you without knowing what the reason was for and there was no valid reason for because you cannot validate a reason to come up and start beating somebody up for not, for something that's not even their fault what's happened to me 
and then my children resulted without my knowledge um, about myself they took it and went on to my children they, they carried that on to my children why would you do that why why would you carry that on that's not something you you don't pass on dysfunction and evil things such as that to, to another generation for profit you don't go do things like that for profit to destroy more lives to 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 take somebody else's life and their kids lives into your own hands why would you take other people's lives into your own hands and say they are yours to own and to disperse as you please how could you play God with other people's lives I'm not God you're the ones who are trying to play God with other people's lives people aren't toys human beings aren't toys if you are Christian then you would say well God didn't intend us to be put on this earth for other people to play with and to to use um, misuse the tree of knowledge to um, hurt other people if you have if you got a lot from the tree of knowledge which is RFID there's a lot there you take that and you use it for good not bad okay you don't look for ways to hurt people you only look for ways to help people that is the only way you only look for ways to help people you only look for solutions and preventatives you only look for solutions and preventatives I can't keep repeat that enough you this came out of nowhere in my life I didn't know about all those people just can't figure that out for some reason and I keep telling them I keep telling people I didn't know about all this stuff until now <laughs> and they have to accept that you can't stay in denial you have to accept the fact I didn't know all this stuff I don't hurt people I don't want other people to use my life to hurt other people to hurt me to hurt my children because other people don't care about each other that's not the message you send to society you teach society to look for solutions versus creating more problems you don't look for you don't teach society to look for ways to hurt people and that's what they kept trying to do with my life that's what they kept trying to do and I'm saying they wanted to try to make me out to be a bad person with bad character and all this other stuff and you're just not gonna work that's not gonna work at all what what's the point of doing that what's the point of your hate why are you trying to teach other people hatred instead of um, the, the whole phrase do unto others as you'd want done unto yourself is this what you'd want done unto yourself and your children is that what you're trying to tell the people because that's not that's not what I say I say you look for ways to help people and you look for ways to problem solve or prevent okay if you didn't prevent a problem then you look for ways to problem solve somewhere in between okay and these people still antagonize this little game I keep thinking well geez eventually they're gonna have to understand that you know things just aren't my fault and they're not my children's fault you shouldn't carry that that dysfunction and pain into generation into generation for profit there are better ways to make money or whatever your 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 goal is because there's no there's no there's no there's no um scientific advantage to ruining people's lives for something you know what what it does there's no no reason to carry this on to another generation such as my children because you know what it's all about what this is all about and I think it's probably happened with other people I don't know you know it's just 
you don't look for ways to hurt other people. You don't look for other ways to hurt other people. And I said, well, I don't understand why they're going the opposite direction. If they wanted to make money so much, you know, if they wanted to make money so much, then why, why wouldn't they go the other direction? They could have, they could have um, negotiated with me. They could have been decent. And why did they want to continue on this path? I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know what to tell the American public. I don't know what to tell, you know, people worldwide as to why they wouldn't want to um, show a bad side to the United States that people never wanted to see um, as far as being... They're showing that they're truly being one of the most inhumane countries in the world by what they've done to me and my children. The pain is excruciating. What they've done to me and my body, and they never did this until they brought me this fame by bringing on this this, this so-called debate and argument and attacks on my life that came out of nowhere. And, and as I said, they came totally out of nowhere suddenly I didn't know anything and I had to figure everything out for myself why why would you do that and it's a leap year and it matches certain evidences and you know it's a leap year and this Philip 66 and all that other stuff and I'm thinking well why don't you just want to just be nice why why would you want to be so hateful and show people that you're so hate driven? Why can't you learn to find it in your conscience and in your soul if you have one left at all, even a little fraction to say looking for pain and hatred versus solutions don't you ever think that there's you've got to come to a stop and say enough's enough quit looking for ways to drive the public into thinking hatred's the way to go you're you're setting a very bad example you don't hate people you don't look for ways to hate people you don't look for ways to hurt people that's illegal i'm a helpless mother of three children you don't do that. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't do it. I didn't have anything to do with what's happened to my life. Why don't you find your consciences? Why? Well, help somebody help you locate your consciences to say that setting the example of hurting one person in front of a lot of people is not the way to go. I just want a normal life just like everybody else. Who are you to take that from me? You're nobody to take that from me. Who who do you think you are to think that you want to take a, an innocent human being's life for things in which were instigated without their knowledge, without their consent, to disperse somebody's life how you wish because you wanted to be have a controlling male ego or whatever else? Come on. And then you do the same to my children. What, what, would, what, would, what, would, do, what would make you want to do that? What would you want to use innocent people? Why can't you learn to be good people? You can make money by being good. With RFID, there are so many possibilities. I would just love to have the opportunity to have a real day in court with this. I would love to have a real day in, in, in government to be able to have, have some sort of control over dysfunctional situations in which we could turn society around for the better. Why go the other way? 
There's no reason to instigate human suffering purposely and intentionally. God, if you're a Christian, or maybe you're atheist, okay? Maybe you're just all atheists. But if you're Christian, you would say, or if you had a value system that followed Christianity, you would say, well, you know, there's good ways to use this technology because I could name of about a hundred or a thousand of them because I understand the technology. There are good ways to do things. The RFID could solve the world's, a lot of the world's problems. But everybody wants to use it. Um, well, not everybody. I shouldn't say that because there's other countries who are using it in good ways. Um, but there are, there are better ways to do things. We don't need to go backwards into society. We need to progress in society. Otherwise, what you're doing or what has been going on has been progressing to totally you're, it's like you're wanting you're you're wanting self destruction you're you're looking for self ways to self destruct you're self destructive you've got self destructive personalities if you don't want to look for solutions then there's no other there's no other answer other than you're self destructive and um I am not a self-destructive person. Um, I've never been suicidal. I don't believe in suicide, and I don't think anybody else should either. I believe that you should care about yourself, take care of yourself, and take care of the people around you and look out for other people. And there's no other answer. And that you should accept other people for who they are, what they believe in, and what they like, and what they don't like. It's fine. Other people should have their choices to do what they want in life and if somebody needs help then you help them if you see a problem and you can help somebody then you help them or you leave them alone you know you don't look for ways to hurt people you never look for ways to hurt people or their children you never do that because there's so many solutions you know, solutions. That's a weird word because it's got the soul in it. Solutions and souls and people selling their souls. We, you know, you might not believe in heaven or hell or, or whatever, but you got to believe and looking for ways to make society good versus bad don't be hate driven don't be bitter don't be resentful for whatever you haven't liked about your own life you look for ways to not be resentful and to use you know your pain channel your pain in a way to cope with that pain and learn from those experiences so that you can do the opposite of that pain. You have to do the opposite of whatever caused you pain in your life. You have to do the opposite for other people. That's what you have to do. Because you have to teach society to be to not succumb and to it's like it's almost like people want to um, you know, want want mental mental illness and want all these bad things when they're you don't need them. They don't need to be in existence. If people care about themselves and care about other people, and don't send the message out that you can you should step on whoever you want to get what you want out of life, quit sending that message. Quit sending that message. You don't hurt other people to get what you want out of life, whether it's money or relationships or whatever. You don't hurt other people to get someone you want. Okay? If you're if somebody 
people are meant to be together, as far as couples are concerned, or whatever, then they'll be together. You don't hurt other people to get what you want because it'll always come back and bite you in the butt because it's not real. If you don't get something the real way by working for it or or if it's not meant to be as, as far as fate, um, you shouldn't have to work for a relationship. It should just come naturally. And if you don't want to work for... Um, you shouldn't have to work for integrity or respect either. It should come naturally. You should just have respect for other people in their lives and that they were put here not for you, but they were put here for a purpose and for a reason to live their own lives, but not for yours. I wasn't put here to live for the presidents and to be the, be me, you know, some sort of statement for them or to do something for them or or for people in high school either. I wasn't here to for Richard Chase and his freaking bank account or presidents in their bank accounts or anybody else in their bank accounts. I was put here for a purpose and some of this purpose is coming through now, but I shouldn't have to deal with being abused physically emotionally and mentally because you know and that's what other people do you don't do that you keep, keep teaching this to the citizens of Lincoln, Nebraska and it's sick to, to teach them to hurt other people how can you teach other people to hurt other people to get what they want out of life it almost sounds like a song how can you teach people to hurt other people to get what they want out of life it almost sounds like a song lyric is that a song lyric somebody could look it up because it'll be in a song I guarantee you if it's not already it'll be in a song because I've written some songs already you know and are parts of songs I've written and it doesn't really matter directly have written parts of songs yes true who cares not a big deal. I'm just saying, um, don't hurt other people to get what you want out of life. Work for what you want out of life. And if something doesn't come naturally, then it's not meant to be. Believe in your fate of, as far as relationships go, you know, I know I was living a lie because I wasn't living my true fate because people had impaired my... Um, my state of consciousness to where I wasn't aware of certain things and I got ch I've gotten cheated out of 30 years, almost 30 years or somewhere around there of my life and these people they've cheated so much time out of my life they, they abused me for it because they brought me famous they didn't use this RFID and this pacemakers before to abuse me because the only reason why they do that is because they're guilty because they did this they screwed up to begin with I don't know why they don't just stop and say you know enough's enough she's just a girl who just like everybody else wants a normal life everybody is entitled to have a normal life everybody was put here to make their own choices, not to have other people make choices for them. I don't want other people to make choices for me or to speak on my behalf. That's not their right. Who do you think you are to think that you'd have the right to speak on my behalf or to say things in my name or to try to manipulate my character as a good person? So... I'm going to identify myself because I have to do that in this message for documentation pur purposes. My name is Kathy Space, J O, Joe, Carolyn Chase, um, maiden name Eggers, E G G E R S. Um, I'm currently on 4701 High Street in Lincoln, Nebraska, 685 United States of America and um and so forth um 
I was, I'm 38 years old, and I was born September 20th, 1973. I have three beautiful children in which I work very hard to protect, and I'm exhausted from working very, very hard to try to protect my children because I love them. My children and I were not put here by you or for you to use to use your vain ideas your vain ideas to think that you're above and beyond everybody else to want to say you have say over who lives and who dies that's not how things work I don't care if you're pretend to be Christian or whatever and or really an atheist or or whatever you should at least have certain morals and values and ethics to a certain level and standard to set a good example for the world and society to just be good people just be good people it's, it's so simple be good to one another it's simple it doesn't matter what religion or race you are and I'm not even going to go there because I've been mistreated very badly as a as a as a white woman in the past 4 years I've been extremely extremely abused and the abuse gets worse to my body as the days go on and it's not my fault I don't if I would have known about this or whatever I would have took preventatives and I did take preventatives because as I said I started contacting people in 2005 then when I had an inclination inclination that there was something wrong I started contacting people in 2005 it started with the police department here in Lincoln Nebraska and then because I was confused about people on the internet and then you know I just started uncovering more and more and more and more and um, I don't remember the first time I I contacted the CIA. I know I contacted the FBI first, but um, you know I I've taken all the preventatives possible based upon what I knew at specific times in the process of the past five six years and even before then because I didn't know anything. You don't. You can't prevent anything you don't know about, right? You can't you can't prevent any problems if you don't know about any problems. And I was always one that would want to I'm a very good communicator. I I I'm a very per, I'm very big into prevention and I'm very big into solutions and I understand psychology very very well. Um I understand um, psychological, I understand mental health very well, and I don't like people to try to undermine my mental health. And when people know, and they can tell by obviously that I am very psychologically and mental stable, because psychologically and mentally I'm very rational, and um, there's no way you can get around that fact. There's no way, you, I don't know why you'd want to. Because I just wanted to live a normal life just like everybody else. And I didn't, I deserved to have other people to come along and disturb the fact that my life wasn't as good as I thought it was. And, and that's not my fault either. You know, I... Just, I like having, I like stability. People should like having stability. They should like having as much much function in their life as possible. That's the goal. To strive towards more function than dysfunction. That's always the goal. Nobody's perfect. Everybody has their little, you know, imperfections, and that's normal. God didn't intend us, if you're Christian, God didn't intend us to be perfect okay if we were supposed to be perfect then God would have made us all perfect but I'm not anything that they want to 
you know, slander me with. I'm not any of those things other than a mom of three children. And, um, it's inappropriate and not professional to say anything other than that I'm a mom of three children and you can't even talk about me because I already said I'm my own power of attorney, you know, and there's nothing, there's nobody else that can speak on my behalf. There's nobody, not a single person. I'm Kathy Joe Carolyn Chase, K-A-T-H-I space J-O Carolyn, C-A-R-O-L-Y-N Chase, C-H-A-S-E, main name Eggers, E-G-G-E-R-S, and I'm my own power of attorney, and um, I've tried very hard to be work with people based upon what I've known, when I've known it, and um, I've done everything that I could do preventatively as I knew things, and you can't take prevention if you don't know things, you know, and you can't. I'm not at fault for things that have happened to me in my life, and neither are my children, for God's sakes. You know, don't use the Lord's name in vain to say I'm God. And don't, um, don't, don't use cults and sacrilegion to say it's okay to kill me and my children for sacrifice of any type, for any organization or religion because I don't believe in what you believe in and don't impose your beliefs unto me and my children because you have done that. Don't do that. That That's taboo. Um, I'd like to talk about RFID. RFID is removable. They wouldn't make RFID if it wasn't removable to be placed into human beings. And I do know there are doctors out there who can do that. And it's not my fault that other people put this in my body and my children's bodies. And if I had to, as a last resort, and leave the country with my children. I wouldn't leave without my children because they have to have RFID removed as well. And um, I wouldn't want to go out of this country without um, several representatives from different governments to help me get there. And um, it's not my fault that preventatives were not taken and that um, I just want to live a normal life. I don't care if that involves fame or it doesn't involve fame, but nobody's going to kill me and cover that up. And because you can't look for ways to devalue a human being in which who has rights to live their life just as everybody else who is placed here on this earth. There are no people who are better than other people, whether you have money or fame or or power. There's nobody that's better than other people and other persons. And um, it's sad that, um, you know, to me, I feel violated not only for what's happened to my body but I feel violated that people have tried to use my life in such vain and distorted ways whether it's organization or organizations or to, to 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 disrespect the constitution or I feel what's happened to my life very very bad and a huge violation upon not only spiritual but laws uh, um, a violation upon laws and the Constitution and values and ethics and being humane and 
and people just looking out for people. Um, this is 2012. This is not something that happens in this day and age because, you know, we're supposed to be a modern society. And the example that's happened in my life is so archaic and so, so distorted that, you know, people want to remain vile and vain and self-absorbed to not admit when they're wrong or just say enough's enough and um, say well she has a right to live her life because she lost this many years because they were stolen from her why don't they just say the truth and think the truth and live the truth because that's the truth and um Nobody deserves to have their lives stolen. And I'm not, my soul is not yours to keep. Okay? You can't, you can't buy my soul. My soul is not yours. My soul is not for sale. You so if you sold your soul for rock and roll, or if you sold your soul for money or if you sold your soul to get to in a position of power or whatever or if you sold your soul to try to get with people as far as relationships then then who are you you have to you have to do things the right way in life you have to get what you want out of life by not hurting other people that's not how you live your life that's not the example you said to hurt other people in any way in any form to get what you want out of life you don't hurt other people you don't step on other people you don't stab other people in the back or their shoulder blades or you know or whatever to get what what you want out of life. You don't do that. Don't send that message. Because you keep repeatedly send that message. You, you keep repeating that message to do that. You don't do that. And I refuse to be your scapegoat. I refuse to be um, your martyr. For your sins. I'm not a martyr and I'm not going to be your martyr. I'm not your martyr. You're the martyr and I don't do things to people. I don't hypnotize people. I don't put RFID in other people. I don't, um, you know, I don't plot bad things against other people to advance in my life. I don't believe in that sort of thing. I believe that's wrong and that's the way everybody else should believe. That to hurt other people to get what they out of out of life to get what they want out of life, you shouldn't have to hurt other people to get what you want out of life. You never hurt other people to get what you want out of life. You don't use other people's lives to get what you want out of life. You don't hurt other people. You just don't hurt other people. I shouldn't have to sit here in the country that I was born in. Supposed to be the most freest country, one of the most freest countries in the world. To have to sit here and beg for mercy for being victimized and the ways that I've been victimized and had people take advantage of my life to the degree in which they've taken advantage of my life and I I just I just I shouldn't have to beg for mercy and beg for, for, for help 
from the government of the United States of America because bad things have happened to me in my life and they know that I've done everything possible to not let bad things happen and to be a good person and to um, look for solutions. I've tried and you can't work with people that are unwilling to want to be rational and I think many people understand that and this is my life it's not your life those children are my children not your children my children are not yours my life is not yours you've ruined my life those people out there who intentionally set out to ruin my life you ruin my life and I want what's left of my life back no matter how I have to get my life back in, in a normal way I would love to give my life back through doctors with my children I love my children to grow up to be functional well-adjusted adults and I love to live a normal stable life just as everybody who is born into this earth deserves to live their own life without other people um, other people messing with their fate um, you don't you don't mess with other people's fate you don't you don't ruin other people's lives to get what you want you help other people you do good to other people you 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 live in a way in which is healthy for yourselves and others and don't ever send the other message that it's good to hurt other people to get what you want out of life you don't look for ways to hurt other people to advance in life you don't step on other people to get what you want out of life